I would officially like to welcome you guys to my office. <laughs> What up witches and welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I shared a huge declutter of my office and now that it's finally organized in here, it's time for a tour. I do still have some Christmas decor up in this video, but don't mind that. We like to keep the holidays going until February in my house. This will be the first time I have really shown my workspace on my channel. I hope you all enjoy. If you have been following me for quite some time, you would know that I actually have an Etsy shop and this is where I run all my business from home. I make things like Mickey ears. I also design shirts and a lot of top knot headbands. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to my friend Ashley Higgins here on YouTube. Her content is incredibly high quality and cinematic. She creates a plethora of videos on homemaking, organization, cleaning, and just like me, she loves a good DIY home project. But my faves are her home decor videos and she always has budget friendly options. I'll link her channel for you in the cards and in the description below so you can check her out. Dive right into the tour and I'll show you how I ended up organizing everything. I'm going to start with this back wall right here that houses majority of my storage. I got all my dresser drawers from Ikea. They are the Malm dressers and they were only $79 each, which I think is a great deal for a set of dressers, especially for an office because office furniture can be very, very expensive. I showed you guys this in the last video, but here is where I like to store my fabric for my headbands and my Mickey ears. These are licensed fabrics. These are faux fur and suede. There's felt down here. I was able to clean this out and make it for my Cricut items. I have some heavy chipboard, a paper cutter, and I also have some other materials for the Cricut. I love it here now because it's easily accessible for me whenever I want to do a project. Next is this drawer where I have my headbands. I have this massive <laughs> amount of Deathly Hallows fabric, and then I have some micro plush of batting, which I use to stuff ears. In this final one, you guys already saw, but this is my velvet and sequin drawer. Now we are to the last set of drawers. In this first drawer, I have all pre-made items. These are already cut and ready to go so they can be sewn. It's just an extra step that saves me time. I have a bunch of top of my headbands, a few stocking materials in the second drawer, some more pre-cut items. I don't do Mickey ears as often as I used to, which is why there is less, but I do have a couple of pre-made ponchas. These are ready to ship ears that I just have some extra laying around. And over here is just pre cut circles and things like that. And in this bottom drawer, I love to doodle. Acrylic painting was my first medium that I really fell in love with. I haven't touched them in a while, but I narrowed it down to colors that I really liked and that were still fairly new so that if I do decide to pick it up again, it is available for me here. I also have my watercolor paints and palettes right here. There's some glitter. I cut out this Deathly Hallows with the Cricut Maker when I first got it just to test it out. I'm gonna save it and use it for something. I'm just not sure you what yet. Some embroidery hoops, yarn, macrame cord, embroidery floss, and that's about it for the on top of these drawers, I just have an Epson printer scanner combo that I've had forever, a Samsung TV so I can binge Harry Potter while I work, and my Cricut Maker. I do have the one in champagne. I just think it's very aesthetically pleasing. I previously had a Cricut Explorer Air 2. I love that one. I had it in mint, but the Maker allows you to do so much more. You can emboss, you can work with wood, you can work with heavy chipboard. It just gives you a lot more options. Not very interesting, but on the sides of my dresser drawers, I have boxes for shipping. I also have a couple orders there that need to be sent out. So these are just the corrugated boxes you guys saw in my Etsy day in the life video where I'm packing orders and taking them to the post office. I have some large boxes here and then on the other side I have small boxes as well. 
In this next clip, I move on to the upper cabinets, which are the Eckett model from Ikea. If you are interested in any of the furniture or decor or organizational items in this room, I will do my best to link as much as I can in the description box. The Eckett cabinets are clip cabinets, so if you push them, they do open up. I did add the handles on them from Amazon just because I wanted it to match my aesthetic. I am just gonna start over here on the very left cabinet. I keep all of my shipping supplies in here. I have mailers of different sizes. I have some medium Christmas mailers. I have some smaller metallic Christmas mailers. I have all my tape. I have some tissue paper. And on top is just a bunch of office supplies, printer paper, I use some staples, some more hot glue. Moving on to the second cabinet from the left, AKA the Crooked Door cabinet. I have my collection of Copic markers and alcohol-based markers. I really love working with alcohol markers when I am in the mood to draw. Next to my Copic markers, I just have some spare ink for the printer, some brushes, some Prismacolor pencils, and I just have some regular office supplies or pencils to use. Just above that, I have some spare ear displays or headband displays. To the right of that, I have a stash of spare ready to ship Mickey ears. They are sparkly spiderweb ears. Some that light up and I have some that do not. So in this cabinet, I don't know what you would call this, but this is where I keep all of my little knickknacks and things like that for ears. So starting with this bottom section right here, on this side, I have a bunch of frosted acrylic stackable containers that I keep all of my ribbon or macrame cord in. To the right of the ribbon containers, I have these two stackable containers that I got from the container store. And oh, these stackable containers are from Daiso. It is a Japanese dollar store. So each one of these were $1.50 each. I'm sure if you guys shop at the container store, you know that it's a little bit pricey. So I always check the dollar store, Walmart, or Daiso first. In this bottom section, I just have some aluminum wire that I use to make my wire Mickey ears. I have some more trim or ribbon in here. And over here is where I keep all of my LED lights. Various different jewels and things like that to embellish on my Mickey ears or whatever projects I decide to make. All right, what I'm about to show you next is probably my favorite cabinet out of all four of these cabinets because it looks the cleanest and <laughs> that just makes me happy. some white flowers, blue, gray, I, also, I have some yellow, I have some stem type flowers, just all different types of uh, floral items in here. All of these containers are from Daiso. They were such a good deal and I love that they are stackable so that I get to utilize most of the space in this cabinet. So this is my desk. This is where I sew all of my Mickey ears, where I sew all of my headbands. I have a Brother Project Runway sewing machine. After several months of hand sewing Mickey ears, I found this little guy on Facebook for just $60 and that is such a steal for a sewing machine. Next to my sewing machine is my thermal label printer that I use for packing that you guys saw in my Etsy Day in the Life video. What I like most about my desk is that when I'm sitting here, I can look out the window, I can see how nice it is outside, and most of all, I can watch for packages coming right here. <laughs> this table and the leg setup is from Ikea. I love that this desk is mobile because it allows me to move it anywhere in the room I want, especially if I need more room. Now we are on the more decorative, still Christmassy side of the room where I have a headband display, a comfy couch, and some sleepy puppies. Not to mention this filing cabinet right here. So from my table, moving on into the far corner is a filing cabinet. Now this filing cabinet is from Ikea as well. 
In the top, I just have some filing folders where I keep my small sheets of felt and also various colors of foam for crafts. And below that, in the second drawer, I have all of my heat transfer vinyl that I cut with my Cricut Maker. I used to keep them in the rolls, but it was just taking up too much space. So I cut them in 12 by 12 pieces and I just organized them in here by color. This pillow is not normally here. This is from my friend Ada. You guys saw that she has been showing me a lot of love lately. It is a Minnie Mouse pillow that has an interchangeable bow. I also have a blue one to change it out if I am in the mood. And behind this is all of my drawing sketchbooks. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel, but I was previously going to school for animation, which is why I have a lot of sketchbooks. I have a lot of drawing books. I have a lot of drawing materials. But I guess I'll show you some of my drawings. They are a bit cringy. This is actually a Mossery sketchbook. They have wonderful sketchbooks with so many different prints and you can personalize it with your name. Oh, okay. So you know how back in the day YouTubers would do April favorites, March favorites. I was doing a thing where I was drawing my favorites. So this is the same type of sketchbook, but it's a watercolor sketchbook. Look at Padme Amidala. I can't believe I drew this. This was my original character that I drew for uh, Cinco de Mayo. And it was my first post to actually get a lot of likes. If you guys want to check out my art Instagram from ages ago, it's at Linime. Oh, look at Mermaid Ray. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you one more and then we're going to call it a day. If you guys want to see more of my old drawings, let me know in the comments. Can you guys tell me who this is? It's a wicked lady from Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is my ultimate favorite anime ever. Oh, here we go. Oh, I was doing humanoid form evolutions. Uh, the Pokemon Eevee has a very many evolutions. This is Espeon. Umbreon, isn't she so cute? I miss drawing, guys. Gosh, why did I, I need to do that. Maybe I'll do a draw with me video. Would you guys like that? Vaporeon. Oh, she looks, so, her dress is so bomb. And this was a Flareon. I was really into fashion at the time that I drew these. Can you guys tell? Let me know if you guys want a full tour of my sketchbooks. On my filing cabinet is my camera. As you can see, it's she's gotten a little bit dusty because I'm not using her very much anymore. This is a Sony A5000. She does great when we're doing room transfigurations and I need to record very, very long videos. I just find it easier to film with my phone. Next to the filing cabinet is the puppies. Say hello to Maya and Hazel. So this couch that they are sleeping on is from Costco, which is actually a pull-out bed. So on the very left, I have this shelf where I like to store pre-made items. Usually they are Tantna headbands. And at the very top, I have some plushies. All right, guys. I just have one more thing to show you and then the office tour is over. I know, I know. The last area of this room is a very small wall adjacent from my dresser storage that is empty because I will soon be switching out everything you see. I don't like this setup because these shelves are actually falling off the walls. As you can see, this is crooked. It's going to fall off any day. And this one has already started coming off the walls. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of this. And I was thinking about getting a mounted backdrop. That way I could take product photos here. I could take photos of myself, of Michael, the family. I could even have a green screen if I wanted. It's right in front of the window so it would get great lighting. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet. I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right, guys, that is it for the tour. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below if you would like to see a full a sketchbook tour from my animation days. <laughs> and if you aren't already, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you join the Wizard DIYer family that we have going here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.